my opinion, the other half of the woman of the revolution, the other half of women's liberation movement, is the boys in my country and in yours wearing their hair long. You know, and those boys who are wearing their hair long are saying no to the masculine mystique. They are saying no to that brutal, sadistic, tight-lipped, crew-cut. You know, Prussian, uh, big muscle. You know, Ernest Hemingway, uh, kill bears when there are no bears to kill, and 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 napalm all the children in Vietnam and Cambodia to prove that I'm a man. You know, and be dominant and superior to everyone concerned, and never show any any softness. Well, these boys that are wearing their hair long are saying, no, I don't have to be uh, all that uh, crew cut and tight lipped. Uh, I don't have to be dominant and superior to anyone. I don't have to have big muscles because there aren't any bears to kill. I don't have to, you know, kill anybody to prove anything. I can be tender and I can be sensitive and I can be compassionate and uh, I can admit sometimes that I'm afraid and I can even cry and I am a man and I am my own man. And that man who is strong enough to be gentle, that is a new man and he is the other half of this revolution and he will live longer. I mean, he won't die 10 years younger than women as, as American men have been doing lately. And he Do not film me today. <laughs>